what's, what's driving much of the effort on the Cape right now is a nitrogen issue in the embayments that has been regulatorily discussed and addressed through DEP working with UMass Dartmouth and coming up with a model to sort of predict how much nitrogen needs to come out to protect those embayments. And in that case, it's all about uh, what they're using sort of as the canary in the mine on that is eelgrass and the ability of eelgrass to survive in those abatements. What's, what's happened is it's over the past four or five decades, six decades, as we've grown as, as humans on the shore, we've been affecting those embayments to the point now where eelgrass can no longer grow. Um, that's now affecting other habitats. We're losing oxygen levels, we're getting algae blooms, all those sorts of things. So that's, that's what's driven a lot of the discussion regarding wastewater cape. But when you start talking about a comprehensive wastewater plan, it's much more than that. Yes, that's important. And we need to address the nitrogen issues because of the regulatory requirements. However, there's other issues like contaminants of emerging concern in water. There's the PFOS, PFOA issues with water. There's how our ponds are reacting to our impact on them. There's any number of other issues. There's economic development that's hindered because of lack of either wastewater or water opportunities. There's environmental for you know, streams and lakes and fishes and things of that nature that, that come into that. So when you're looking at it comprehensively, you're not just looking at nitrogen, which is what we tend to think of on Cape Cod because it's been really in the forefront of the discussion for a long time. You think about a much broader palette of issues that go on and thus you have to look at solutions that are much broader than that. The problem is with our coastal waters, we have a lot of nutrients ending up in there and nitrogen in coastal waters is a big problem. It's causing um, algal blooms. Those algal blooms when they die off can cause fish kills and the bacteria can cause shellfish closures and beach closures. Barnstable experienced rapid growth and development over the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, where we saw um, really a lot of our land being consumed by new residential development. And with that residential development came a proliferation of Title V septic systems. And that's really resulted in the place where we are today, which is um, you know, our bays and estuaries. Um, being impaired by nitrogen, um, our lakes and ponds um, dealing again with those nitrogen loading issues and the drinking water component as well, um, having to be concerned about that and, and the drinking water health uh, of our aquifer um, was really a result, I think, of the way uh, of the growth and development patterns that have happened in Barnstable historically. Our nitrogen issues in our coastal waters, they're not caused just by stormwater runoff or fertilizer use or septic, it's a combination. Across the Cape, on average, about 80% of our nitrogen issue is a septic issue, but um, you know, the, putting together these pieces, this is one piece of the puzzle, one piece of addressing that nitrogen issue and water quality issue, and it can have a, a big impact for this area. If you have a, have a home here, you have a beautiful water view. If you take your family on vacation here, you're gonna be able to enjoy our beautiful beaches or our pristine lakes and ponds. And as we talk about water quality and water quality management, being able to do that responsibly has a direct impact on people's experiences here. Uh, so if our waters become impaired, people's experiences here don't have that same kind of rich value that they've come to expect uh, here in Barnstable. So making sure that we're being good stewards of our water is directly linked to making sure we're promoting the economic health of our community. This, this, is, this is the lifeblood of our community. I mean, it, protecting, protecting this delicate area um, uh, within the state of Massachusetts is something that, and you know, being stakeholders here, being property owners, we we want to protect our investment. We want to protect our our environment. Um, we all benefit from addressing this issue. One of the common refrains we have here on Cape Cod is that in, our environment is our economy. People are attracted to Cape Cod, whether you come here as a, a year-round resident, a seasonal resident, or you come here on vacation with this idea that you're going to be close to the water. The economy is a blue economy. That people come here to, you, to see the oceans, use the oceans, shellfish, fish, um, go to the beach. So without quality water, quality water supplies, quality um, oceans, ponds, recreation, water quality is 
everything for the town of Barnesville, quite frankly.